Nehemiah chapter 8. On the first day of the seventh month, the people came together in the open area in front of the water gate. Then they asked Ezra, who was a teacher of the law of Moses, to read to them from this law that the Lord had given his people. Ezra, the priest, came with the law and stood before the crowd of men, women, and the children who were old enough to understand. From early morning till noon he read the law of Moses to them, and they listened carefully. Ezra stood on a high wooden platform that had been built for this occasion. Mattathiah, Shema, Anaya, Uriah, Hilkiah, and Maaseah were standing to his right, while Pedeah, Mishael, Melchijah, Hashem, Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Meshulam were standing to his left. Ezra was up on the high platform where he could be seen by everyone, and when he opened the book, they all stood up. Ezra praised the great Lord God, and the people shouted, Amen! Amen! Then they bowed with their faces to the ground and worshipped the Lord. After this, the Levites, Jeshua, Bani, Sherebiah, Jamin, Akab, Shabbatai, Hodiah, Maaseah, Kelita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, and Peleah went among the people, explaining the meaning of what Ezra had read. The people started crying when God's law was read to them. Then Nehemiah the governor, Ezra the priest and teacher, and the Levites who had been teaching the people all said, this is a special day for the Lord your God, so don't be sad and don't cry. Nehemiah told the people, Enjoy your good food and wine and share some with those who didn't have anything to bring. Don't be sad. This is a special day for the Lord and He will make you happy and strong. The Levites encouraged the people by saying, This is a sacred day, so don't worry or mourn. When the people returned to their homes, they celebrated by eating and drinking and by sharing their food with those in need, because they had understood what had been read to them. On the second day of the seventh month, the leaders of all the family groups came together with the priests and Levites, so Ezra could teach them the law that the Lord had given to Moses. They learned from the law that the people of Israel were to live in shelters when they celebrated the festival in the seventh month of the year. They also learned that they were to go into the woods and gather branches of leafy trees such as olives, myrtles, and palms for making these shelters. So the people gathered branches and made shelters on the flat roofs of their houses, in their yards, in the courtyard of the temple, and in the open areas around the water gate and Ephraim gate. Everyone who had returned from Babylonia built shelters. They lived in them and joyfully celebrated the festival of shelters for the first time since the days of Joshua, son of Nun. On each of the first seven days of the festival, Ezra read to the people from God's law. Then on the eighth day, everyone gathered for worship, just as the law had said they must.